Hi, my name is Melissa Chireno and I'm the director of Campus Life at Adolfo Singh Union. I'm an international student from Curacao and I'm thankful to be able to live in the traditional and unceded territory of the Kakai's First Nation. Thank you for giving us the platform to voice our concerns. Today I'm here on behalf of thousands of students from Douglas College. At DSU, we have a purpose much like other students across BC. Purpose is support, provide services to save our students' money, engage in advocacy to make members' lives better. Along with other student unions, we aim to keep public education accessible and affordable for the diversity of our, student, our students in our communities. We are facing significant challenges due to the global pandemic that is going on, and we are here to address them. It is clear that there is a funding crisis in our post-secondary system. Post-secondary institutions need financial funding across the province from the government that will help not only through this pandemic, but for years to come. Being an international student in Canada during the full pandemic has not been the best experience for me. International students have been left out of the conversation when it came to programs to help folks during COVID-19. International students have, are not able to take a break from their studies. We're in Canada on study permits that require us to be full-time students and have to finish their studies within limited time. International students make up 32.8% of the Douglas College population. Institutions rely heavily on international student fees and there are no ways of re regulating these fees. There is a possible threat because of if students had to suddenly leave the country, this would have unfavorable effects on post-secondary institutions due to lack of funding from the government. Post-secondary institutions should not rely on international fees. Therefore, we would like to ask for a restructure of government funding for post-secondary institutions. Hi, my name is Nikhil Lal, and I'm the Director of College Relations at the Douglas Student Union. I'm grateful to be living on the traditional and unceded territory of the KT First Nation. The heavy reliance on international student fees to fund our public education system has proven to be unstable, especially during these unprecedented times. With institutes having the ability to increase international tuition by however much they want each year, leaves uncertainty for future international enrollment. At Douglas, we will see a projected 7.94% increase in international student fees by 2022 from 2018. This equates to a $25.7 million increase in the annual budget. Whereas in that time, ministry funding will have only gone up by 5.2%, which equates to a $5.6 million increase in the annual budget. As the proportion of ministry grant decreases, we can see the direct correlation with an increase on reliance on international tuition fees. It is clear that institutes rely heavily on international enrollments to fund programming and educational goals. During the summer semester, Douglas has seen a 15% decrease in international enrollments. And with the uncertainty that COVID brings and has brought, it is clear that relying on international students to fund our post-secondary institutes risk the success of students. We need a stable funding by government that eliminates the need and reliance for international student fees. And we need to put a cap on how much institutes can raise international tuition by, as this will fix instability and precarity. Hello, my name is Caitlin Spru and I'm the Director of External Relations at the Douglas Students Union. I would like to acknowledge the Kwik Whitlam First Nations on whose traditional and unceded territories I live, learn, and am currently doing my work. For years, the dangerous reliance on international students' tuition fees to fund the post-secondary education system has been becoming stronger and stronger, resulting in an unstable and unsustainable system. This is more obvious now than ever before due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The question of what would happen if international students stopped coming has been up in the air for years, and we are now seeing the consequences unfold before our eyes. The international student enrollment for the upcoming academic year is uncertain, but there will certainly be significant decrease. And this will result in budget shortfalls in institutions throughout BC. These institutions need support that will not only get them through the current pandemic, but will also provide stability for years to come. The COVID-19 pandemic provides an opportunity for the government to make drastic changes. We ask for a total restructure of the post-secondary education funding system 
in order to eliminate the unstable reliance on the fees of our international students and classmates. More government funding towards post-secondary education would help to eliminate this reliance and start heading towards a stable funding system that will benefit all parties involved. We also ask for a freeze on international tuition fees. The continuous and unpredictable increase in international tuition fees will eventually result in an extreme decline of international student enrollment, which would have a significant impact on our economy. International student tuition fees must be stabilized so as to continue to attract international students, which could make a difference in years to come. We must grab hold of the opportunity we have to create a new stable funding system that will prepare our province for any uncertainty that may lie ahead. On behalf of the Douglas Students Union and all of our members, we thank you for your time and hope that you will consider our recommendations.